you live from their studio in South Florida, Twist Gaming. Featuring lead broadcaster, Matt Coza. Co-host and creative genius, Josh Perry. Co-host and interviewer extraordinaire, Ann Lazito. Co-host and marketing mogul, Aaron Murphy. With appearances from special guest, Lucy. Welcome to Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. Hi everyone, we are live and this is Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. As you might imagine, I'm Matt. I'm Josh. We're Twist Gaming, welcome everyone. So quick little recap here, Joshua, what happened last week on Twitch Plays Kingdom Death? Uh, we fought a white lion. How'd it go? Uh, we ate, or we didn't eat that many bugs. There was a lot of bugs so there. So many bugs. Um, and then, uh, after that, what did we do? I don't know. You tell me. We fought it. We, one, you died. I didn't die. Yeah, you died. No. Yeah, you died. No. I died. No, I died. Yeah, you died. And someone died. It was you. Yeah, it was me. Um, and, uh... Yeah, you guys kept healing the monster. It wasn't nice. It wasn't very nice. It's not nice. It was a very long year one fight. It was. Uh, but we got some resources. We came back. We made three rawhide sets. Yeah, we got a lot of gear. A lot of arm, uh, a lot of uh, resources. A lot of hide. So we, we made a lot of armor. Yeah. Um, everyone has monster grease besides one character. It's a very furry so, monster, not not a very bony monster. So uh, everyone's kind of geared up pretty good besides one character. So they're going to be using the cat eye circlet. Lots of arm armor. They have a nice little, you know, circlet. But they're naked. I don't uh, know. They, they have, have a, a they toga have a on. Toga on. Oh, okay. Toga with like a really nice. Yeah. My third eye. My mind's eye. Yes, your mind's eye. Open your mind's eye. Uh, so is there anything? Oh, and then we also uh, uh, purified one of the other survivors in the uh, the soup yep. as well. The poop soup. Um, but so they're getting ready for baby making. Probably after this, of uh, one when we come back, this hunt yeah. when we come back, we're gonna purify someone else, so we can have our baby making duo. Mm. But in the meantime, I think we're ready to get started. So in the pre-stream, we had a poll for what you guys wanted to fight, and you all picked the screaming antelope. Josh, what sound does the screaming antelope make? <laughs> <laughs> so weird. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else that we need to do before we begin? Um. No, we are pretty much ready to go out on the hunt. We have our gear. And again, like last time, you guys get to interact some more. So if you put uh, $5 in tips or bits, so that's 500 bits or $5 in the tip, uh, you get to add a bug patch before the showdown starts. Bug and patch, $10 patch. gives you a reroll for the stream. And last but not least, $5 during the showdown, you can give the monster some health back and if make us cry. Jerk. Hashtag jerk. Hashtag jerk. Or pound jerk. Uh, hey, where's our tip counter? That's uh, I've got to turn question. off. Uh, I'll turn that on in a second. So for now, I'm going to transfer over to the board cam. Josh, I need your help. It's not white thing again. I don't know. Do, 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 look at, look do, at that antelope. Do. Scary antelope. All right, so we are ready to begin. We have some slightly different survivors than last time just because, well, a lot of us uh, had to stay back. Uh, we had the cannot depart on the next hunt. So, Twitch, you're going to be playing as Pierogi. I'm playing as Kaka Carrot Cake. Josh is playing as Bisque and Goulash. So, I am go plus cumulatively 100 and tips unlocks an additional expansion. Josh, did we decide what our expansion that we're adding is? Uh, we added Dragon King last oh, that's right. So, we added the Dragon King last time. Uh, that's yeah, that's Josh's spelling of Pierogi, not mine. So. Y yes, that's how it's spelled incorrectly. So, t tip counter's loading right there, but uh, when we reach the next $100 goal, we will be upping the, uh... Oh, let's try to reset, because it's a new month. How far are we from the next one? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think we just hit the last one. So we're, you know, uh, we're at 134 subs. When we get to 150, we're going to be doing another giveaway as well. And reminder, at the 200 subs is when we're going to start our super awesome, big-ass Kingdom Death giveaways. Uh, starting off for now, though, I'm going to say Twitch is going to go first, I'm going to go second, and Josh, you will go third and fourth. So, I think without any further ado, let us begin. So, Twitch, this is you. You're going for the Screaming Antelope, and you found a dead antelope. So, uh, the survivors are struck by the scent of rotting meat wafting from a hulking corpse ahead. 
The event revealer may lead the survivors to investigate. If they do, gain one random vermin resource, two random screaming antelope resources, and roll a d10. On the result of 7+, the survivors are startled at the arrival of the antelope's killer, a white lion. <sighs> They're going to investigate because there's a bug. They get the vermin resource. We don't really have a choice here. Um, oh, oh, wait, hold on. Let's. I mean, you could put a poll up. I freaking did it again. Did what again? So I have a folder so for all the many, Twitch links. So many tabs open. Uh, yeah, well, I have a folder for all the Twitch links, and I went Is to go... Is this a bug patch? Yes, it's a bug patch. <laughs> Thank you, Niall Bart. So investigate or not? To investigate or not to investigate? That is the question. Boom, all the bits went. I'm going to knock you out. Bits are going to knock you out. Uh, so, guys, vote. You can either investigate or do the random hunt. So, the uh, investigate will give us one random vermin resource and two random screaming antelope resources, but we can get absolutely wrecked by a lion. It'd be a level two white lion in Lantern Year 2. Hey, Josh, did you include my new... I think... Um, I might be missing one or... I don't think I got everything that you guys put in this last week. Um, it's been a little hectic over here. There is there is a vermin on the antelope. Feels like Monday. I forgot about the stream. I mean, we have four rerolls. That's not true. So, Josh, what would you do here? It's a 30% chance that we get ambushed. Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 40% chance. Yeah. Forty percent chance that we get the reroll. So there's that. Oh, look at that! They really want to investigate here. Level two white lion will kill us. You know, Josh, you forgot about the donation incentives. What do you mean I forgot about them? I don't know. We said them. We said them. I think we said them. Pretty sure we said them. Donate monies. We give you stuffs. Gives you stuffs and things. Um, who will get the final blow? Who will get the final The final countdown. Be -do -de -do. We're uh, perfectly tied right now, surprisingly. Uh, we can just run away. Oh, wait, no pictographs. Yeah, pretty much. The big incentive is to troll. Yep. I mean, everyone loves a good troll. So, I don't know. I, I feel like I would risk it for the biscuit here, just because we can really just farm a lot of resources. Um, we're just perfectly tied. Guys, You have to, someone has to break the tie. Pretty please, with sugar on top. I believe in you, chat. Break the tie. Break the tie. I don't know what Josh is doing. Uh, sorry, contest. Oh, so you could vote uh, who do you think is going to win. Yep. I would vote, but I can't because my phone causes interference. Interference. You are interference. You are. We're in a dead split. Yeah, it's perfectly tied. So, I mean, the next vote is going to call it. So, we'll just leave it at that. Uh, yeah, you probably should have waited until after you found out. I put monster. Well, I'm just saying, so, you found out. No, no, you guys, you guys are supposed to. Choose whatever. So I think I think it, it's a little easy if you guys choose the white line level two to win because it's probably probably high chance of yeah that would probably destroy us. I mean, we do have some ways to mitigate. I can't make two. I can't make a vote. I vote for investigating. What if I vote on random hunt? Then we're still tied. Yeah. Investigate. Do it. Investigate. Call in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a vote. Awesome. Thanks, Doggo. Doggo okay. Thanks, Brogo. Okay, so Josh, close the poll out. All right, roll D10. Chat, roll a d10, and Josh, give me those sweet, sweet resources, please. What do we got? 
We get two. Thank you, Dark. Mal, here is some bucks for that level two lion. <laughs> uh, we get two random screaming antelope resources and one random vermin resource. Uh, you got, oh, I forgot to put a give you a bug command. Uh, chat, exclamation point bug. What do you think it is? I don't know. Oh, it's a six. We're safe. Uh, <sighs> salt seeker. So we got a beast stick. And we've got his gums, his muscly gums. He had uh, the gum disease known as gingivitis. Hurry, <laughs> roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we got we get a vermin. The, and a, uh, yeah, we got the um, salt seeker. Salt seeker. Salt seeker. Which I think. John, what's a salt seeker? I don't have my I don't have my file why, open. Why not? If you want, if you donate ten or twenty bucks, you can force them to re-roll their dice. That's true. So if someone did want us to re-roll that six, they could. Hurry up, Josh. Uh, they have a chance push. to re-roll. Hurry up. Uh, they want to consume. What is the What is the salt seeker? Uh, Josh. Salt seeker. Salt seeker. Bring me a salt. Uh, they can consume and roll d ten. <laughs> Dark Citadel. What are you doing? Is that two more bug patches, or is that? Well, they're consuming anyways, so I'm gonna roll the d10 for the cons the consumption. Okay. They're getting the consumption here. Okay. Dark, please confirm <laughs> how mean you're being right now. On a scale of one to jerk chicken. I should move that roll thing so it's not under the screaming antelope. Me. A six. A uh, six. Slightly salty flavor. No effect. Oh, okay. That six would have been nice for the... Uh... The six is for the bug, so... That is for the... All right. Dark Citadel, do you love me? It's the Kiki challenge, but not bad. Is that going to be one of our alerts? No, we're not doing the Kiki challenge. Why not? Because I said so. Are we going to do the, the baby shark challenge? No, we're not doing baby shark. Why not? No. Why? No. <laughs> <sighs> I totally would have done that if I had the cash. <laughs> Y'all or something else. Um, if you guys get us to fifty dollars, Matt's going to do baby shark. No. No. <laughs> so this is me. Puppy monkey baby. And I need a random hunt event. So, chat, please pull a random hunt event. So, that's going to be exclamation mark roll. It's going to be a D104. D104. It's a lot of uh, a lot of numbers. Yeah. So, let me open up this book because it's probably going to be in the book. Take a look. It's in a book. A baby shark, is that anything to do with predator? No, it's a little kid's video. Predatory loans. Josh, what's an 83? Uh, One more than 82. 83. Look up Flesh Baby Shark monolith. on uh, YouTube. It's got like 16 bajillion billion freaking views or something it's like that. Dumb. Flesh monolith. The survivors approach a five-sided monolith made of flesh that stretches into the darkness overhead. Limbs and faces, both human and bizarre, protrude from all sides. The event revealer gains plus one courage and investigates. So that's me. I'm going to gain a courage because I'm so brave. Look at me. Oh, I just hit bold. Okay. Uh, so that is going to give me which one prepared? Add hunt yeah. XP when you're determining straggler. Predatory loans. I'm gonna go fix the dice roll thing so it doesn't look so poopy. You look poopy. Um. Josh has to guess what. <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh. So yeah, it's during the hunt phase. So I'm gonna get prepared, which is when rolling to determine straggler. Add your hunt experience to the roll result. That's nice. And then, uh, Josh, you didn't give me any dice. There is no dice on the table. So I can't roll for bold. So I'm going to ask chat to roll a d10. And that's going to be for my bold. Feeling bold here. Feeling bold. You know, a 10 would be really nice, chat. I, I appreciate if you get a 10. I, I take an 8 or a 9. 10 would be just really nice. A six. A six is going to be gained plus one understanding. I just got insight. Yay! So insight is during the hunt phase. I'm going to get epiphany. Uh, 
uh, sorry, explore. Jesus, I can't read. Uh, add plus two to your investigate results. So that's good. That's going to give me plus two on this roll that I'm about to make. Okay. So good news. All you can roll tonight is sixes. <laughs> Sign of the beast, bro. Um. Okay. So I need another d10 to roll. I'm going to roll this one by myself. Give me a dice. Give me a die. Give me a die. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I really want a ten here. Eight thousand dice. That would be nice. An eight. Eight. Eight's going to give me plus one permanent accuracy. I'll take that. That's good. I like that. So, okay. then jumping back to Flesh Monolith, I need to roll another d10 here. And I'm going to add plus two to my roll result. That is a five, so I rolled a seven. All survivors are driven back with horror. They all suffer quarry monster level brain event damage. They're all suffering one brain damage. Why is there two investig... Oh, that's the ten plus. Okay. Yeah. Um, it would have been amusing if we got the 10 plus. But we didn't. Predatory loan. So we're taking one brain damage? Correct, Mundo, senor. We're all checking the box? We are. I'm gonna check in the box. Bury me in Screaming Antelope. For future reference, what's the cutoff time for making new KDM items that can possibly be included in the next stream? I normally do it on today I totally blanked on this week last week's been a blur uh, but normally uh, get it in the day before so if I give it in by Monday I normally get it in uh, but everything from last week I forgot to do so <gasps> how dare you it happens so uh, this is going to be you Josh your red character and that's going to be Bisk that's going to be Bisk Bisk found the devoured grounds uh, stone-faced ground is littered with the leavings of ravenous passing beasts. Half-eaten acanthus plants are strewn everywhere. If any survivor has three-plus understanding... You do. The survivors may skip the next hunt space. It's the monster. So, we can't skip it then. Okay. So, you have to roll. So, chat, roll a random hunt event for Josh. You can't roll a D104, okay. Josh. I could try. You can't can't do it. It's physically impossible. Physically impossible. So, I wonder what they're going to roll. Another flesh model? A 68. 68. Josh, what's a 68? Uh, it's shut-up time. What? Pretty sure it's shut-up time. No. No? A familiar face. Oh. I don't care about your face. Each survivor rolls a d10, with the lowest scoring survivor becoming the straggler. So, chat, please roll a d10. Matt, you have your thing now, but it doesn't really matter. Because I have no hunt experience. All right, I rolled a one. I rolled a three. And a nine. Be you. That looks poopy. Your face is poopy. And they rolled a three. three. So you rolled a one. Yep. So that is... You're the straggler. While examining the stone faces underfoot, the straggler recognizes the face of a fallen friend. Bittersweet memories reduce them to tears. Reduce their insanity to zero. Already is. Then gain one understanding. Aw, I understand a little bit better. That's not a six. It's a half of a six. And now it's time for us to fight the antelope. So we got two bug patches? Plus the natural bug pitch. Bug patch. Bug patch. Bug patch. Bug patch. All right. So... Sure. It is time for us to fight the Screaming Antelope! Ba ba ba. It's like a sheep. Ba ba black sheep. Ba ba black sheep. Have you any wool? Yeah, it can be not at work on Tuesday nights. Yeah, soup! Last cheer. One more bug, please. Dark Citadel, let it go through. I don't think you need the exclamation point. I don't know. I don't know. So, Josh. There we go. <laughs> ba, 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 banana. Time for some more bugs to eat. That got weird. So three bug patches. Three bug patches. Plus the natural bug patch. And three acanthus plants, and then two random terrain tiles. So, monster's going to be set up right there. Look at that cute so little So two acanthus or three? 
Uh, it is two, three acanthus plants. Three acanthus tiles, cards, so six plants. Ba ba banana, have you any wool? And Josh, please set us up on that side of the board there at your discretion. Discretion. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Uh, you know who loves what loves acanthus? Bugs. Is it just me or is the stream letter boxed? Think it's just you? Think it's just you. Shouldn't I, it be? I don't think it should be letter boxed. So what's the setup rules for the acanthus plants, Josh? Um, for the antelope, it's they're got to be in that triangle. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Set so one up here, and then over here, then over here, and then put one here, and then over. Sure, right there. Then I'll put another one like right there. Look at that. Look at all that pretty acanthus on the board there. Shuffle, shuffle, right, shuffle. You want to talk about the monster a little bit? Um, yeah, it's an antelope. It screams. Uh, there was once a fearsome monster that was trained by the hand to be a steed for the goblin. However, upon smelling its new master, the monster's mind shattered and it ran into the unknown, foaming at the mouth and biting the noses off the stone-faced floor. And so he's going to start with trample. When a monster collides with a survivor, they suffer damage equal to the monster's level to a random hit location. How many random terrain? Uh, two. Two random terrain. And his basic attack is going to be... Uh, closest knockdown survivor in range, no target graze, and it's going to be two speed for two plus accuracy for one damage. There's two more Acanthus plants because I drew the last card. Monster's going to have 11 health, six movement, and eight toughness. That's good. So this is going to be a fun one. So the monster's instinct is graze. The monster full moves to the closest acanthus plant and ends its turn. If the monster is on or adjacent to an acanthus plant, archive the terrain and heal one wound. If there are no acanthus plants on the showdown board, instead move full forward in a straight line. Heal one. Move the top one card from the wound stack to the bottom of the AI deck without looking at it. Twist plays bumper cars. Uh, I do have bone darts. Yep. So that'll help a little bit. Maybe. So what are those tokens right there? Are those our bug patches? Yep. So many bugs. So little time. Are we ready to begin, Josh? I'm ready if you're ready. Uh, I was born ready. So monster's going to go first. Who's monster controller, Josh? Uh, we'll start with Goulash. I mean, how does survival work? It just allows you to dodge and avoid a point of damage whenever you want? Uh, so you have limited amount of survival, and you have survival actions. Uh, right now we have dodge, and we have... Two others, I uh, can't remember the names of them because people of <coughs> Sun have differently. It's Embolden, which is once per round, you can get a plus one strength. If you have no plus one strength tokens, you spend gain the survival a plus one to gain token. one. And then there's also Overcharge. Which is if you have any tokens, you may spend them, spend one survival, remove them, and then you get Devastating One on your next attack. And yeah, Dark Citadel, Bone Darts are kind of crap. I'm not going to lie. So, the cool thing about the Screaming Antelope is the super dense location. Yeah. Which is kind of uh, we only have one. Oh, no, two. You, the bone are failed, too. So, let us begin. Monster Controller's going to start with Goulash. Let's get that top AI card, Joshua. And we have, uh, Terrain. Yep. And all other stuff. And he's going to slam. Come on and slam. If, if you want to jam. You want to jam. Uh, closest knockdown survivor. Furthest. Why would you put that there? Why? Furthest threat in field of view and range. Okay. Which is who? No one. So now he's going to graze. Okay. He's going to eat a canthus. Okay. Why do you want him to eat a canthus? And he's not attacking us. But I don't want him to eat a canthus. He doesn't get the plus one speed token, right? He doesn't get a plus one. No, that's only level three plus. Okay. And um, It's not as bad as I thought, though. And then he doesn't... Tra uh... It's not that bad. So he's going to go to the closest uh, acanthus plant, I believe. Yeah, uh, instinct full move towards the closest acanthus plant and end its turn. So it's already turn. adjacent, so he's just gonna turn and he's gonna go, nom, 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 nom. Uh so what's the the armor? That's your complete body armor. Yep. Uh so that's your full armor set. Uh just kinda round it up in a box. So to give you an idea of where you guys are armor wise, um just kinda simplify the overlay a little bit. Mm-hmm. 
right. So it's our turn now. Yeah. Who gets to go first? Uh, whoever wants to go first. Um, um. Move, what was that? Let's move it. Five spaces there. Five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. And I will stay right there because I can't do anything else. Okay. What are you going to do with Red? Red's going to go one, two, three, four. Uh, you can use your rawhide headband. Sure, I'll use my rawhide headband. Meanie. There you go. And I'm going to use my cat eyes clip. Hmm. Okay, do that. I'm not telling you what I did. They did something. <sighs> Keep your health up, buddy antelope. All right, so level two white line on the loose. We don't have any clubs or shields yet, so that's not going to help. Uh, you're two. It's your two. Yep. Technically. So, yeah. Uh, how much in tips to heal the antelope again? Uh, Five dollars. So, the top card mat? Yes. I'm putting up is uh, Reflex, where he kicks everything around it. So, we don't want anyone adjacent. Who's Jason? Two of them. The other two are fine. Who's adjacent? Uh, Jason? That's Ice Chamber. Oh, okay. He keeps telling me that, but I think I would know it by now. Okay. Um, so go ahead and move Twitch closer. They can't do anything. They could use their rawhide headband, too. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be the end of our turn. It's now the monster turn. Monster control is going to pass from green to... Uh, I'm sorry, red to green? No, from green to purple. Yeah, it's green to purple. I need to... What are you looking for? Oh, that's why I'm so confused. What are you so confused about? What's oh, going on? Just confuse myself. I don't know what's going on. Nothing. Go. I. <laughs> he, it's time for the monster to chow down. Full move the screaming antelope to the closest acanthus plant. If the monster ends its movement on or adjacent to an acanthus plant and consumes it, and uh, archive the train and heal one d five. Place chow down back on top of the AI deck before discarding. So he's gonna go. Boop. And um no 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 no. And that's the end of the monster's turn. Oh, it's going to go back up on top of the deck. All right, Matt. Can you move. throw a dart at it? One, two, three, four, five spaces right there. And I'm going to throw a dart at him. So I have... It is a seven plus, but I have one natural accuracy, so it's a six plus. Okay. And I rolled an eight. That's it. So I am attacking the furious spasm. Spasm. And uh, I've got three natural strength. I'm sorry, three strength on my weapon. I've got one natural strength. The monster's got a toughness of how much? Eight. Uh, eight. So it is going to be a four plus for me to wound. An eight. It's That's a wound. A wound. I, right. I did a damage. Reduce the monster's um, a, uh, health by one. Okay. Take that top card of the AI deck, which is uh, the nom one, and throw it away. Just throw it away. I got it. Throw it out. Throw it away. Throw it in the trash. Throw it away. That's the end of my turn. Okay. Your turn now. So. Two, three, four, five. Which can't get there. I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm, like, I'm going to go last. Why? Do AI. Oh, no, I can go first. It doesn't matter. Why'd you do AI manipulation before someone attacked? Oh, no one else can attack. No one else can attack. So put put a good one on top. Furthest threat in range. A good one for us, not a good one for Mr. Monster. Mr. Monster's not nice. Okay. That's not too bad. What's not too bad? <sighs> You're both kind of bad. Closest fiber and field of view, or furthest threat in range? Furthest threat in range. And then he gets plus one damage for every space he moved. Oh, no, don't put that one. The other one is a two damage with bleed one. But it's only one speed. Yeah, one speed's fine. We could dodge it. They're both one speed. Both. 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 But that antelope looks so hungry. Going to need you to shuffle the chow down back in. So I'm going to do like <laughs> standard rules where you heal. It goes to the <coughs> bottom of the deck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. So we're good there. Uh, red's going to go one, two, three, four. Five. And I'm going to collect the acanthus. Hate's such a strong word. I see him. I could have. Could have, but you didn't. Uh, it's a nine. nine. So what's a nine? Uh, nine is 
Scan a fresh cat this resource. Woo! And then this goes away, right? Yep. How do you submit a hunt event that's longer than 100 characters? You just PM Josh. Yeah, send it to me. Uh, on Discord, you can email me at josh at twistgaming.tv, or you can just message me on uh, Twitch, too. Keep trolling, and trolling, 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 trolling. <clears throat> that's just mean, your It's <laughs> so mean. So what are you doing, Josh? You're staring. Oh, I'm getting my uh, dry cancel. You're just staring. Uh, and so it's just turn. Uh, Twitch is going to move. One, two, three, four, five. And that's going to be... They can go collect that Acanthus, at least. Sure. We'll have them roll a d10 to collect the Acanthus. And then after that, they can start running towards the bug. I know how much they love the bug. Love the bug. Be the bug. Feel the bug. Feel it in your mouth. That's gross. When you eat it, you know. And they rolled a 10. Josh, what's a 10? Uh, gain a fresh Acanthus. They're going to gain some fresh Acanthus. Yay. Um, are they going to blend it? Are they in the blending? <laughs> I'm really into blending things. Who says that? <laughs> Who uh, says people that, that live in California. How do you know it's California? Because uh, like, in one of the other episodes, he talks to you, like, that's where he's based out of. You can't eat the acanthus. It just says to archive it. I don't think you eat it. I think you just rub it into your body all sexy like. Do you make cream? No. You just rub the leaves onto your body. <laughs> just kind of falls apart as you rub it? Yeah. Oh, Aggressively. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we all went, so it's now the monster's turn. So monster control is going to pass from Twitch over to me. And I need that top AI card, Josh. And he is going to... He's going to bite something. Time for him to bite. So, closest survivor in field of view. Hmm. It's red. It is red. He's going to go over here. Okay. He's going to move an attack. So, Twitch, we need one D10 to be rolled. This is going to be for two plus accuracy. Josh, how much evasion do you have? Uh, one. So, it's going to be a three plus to hit you. And it's going to do two damage with bleed one to one of your hit locations. Uh, but you could possibly dodge it. I can dodge it. Possibly. If it misses, you don't have to dodge it. It's a six. Are you dodging it? Yep, I'll use my only survival to dodge it. <clears throat> okay. So that's the end of the monster's turn. And it's now our turn. Um. No, we don't have bandages. No bandages. I'm going to... Oops, sorry, Jeff. Green, green has that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw another arrow at it. Uh, dart, rather. The next two kit locations are... Uh, does anyone have any luck or no? No one has deadly. No one has deadly. Okay. Yeah. I rolled a two. That's a miss. Yep. Okay. I Who's Twitch going wants next? To hit in the butt. Huh? I think Twitch wants to hit in the butt. Twitch, do you want to hit it in the butt or do you want to go for the bug? You can't actually get the bug. No, you can get the bug. I lied. You can get to the bug. There's a bug patch right here. There's fist, but his toughness is eight. Hashtag a little left same butt always. Stop playing with your microphone. Sorry. Uh, so they're gonna go hit it in the butt. So chat, we're gonna need what do they even have? They have a king spear. Two d tens we rolled. You have uh, the king spear. It's a six plus accuracy, but you're in the butt, so it's gonna be a five plus. I am off my game without a bow. I don't know what he to do. He does have a ranged weapon. Uh, get the bug, then grab its tongue. Make him eat it. Make him eat the bug. Uh, they have an eight and a four, so that's one miss, one hit. So Josh, you need that top hit location card, and they're attacking the restless back. Uh, they don't have a club or a shield, but uh, let's have them roll. So their weapon has three strength. They've got one natural strength, which is a four in total. Monster's got eight, tough eight toughness, so they need to roll a four plus. Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. Uh, I found you. Miss New Booty. Was it 25 or 50 to full heal the monster? It's $5 a heal. So however much oh, you need. Oh, they crit. That's 10. Bam, that's a persistent injury. Your strike lands squarely on the monster's squirming spine, accompanied by a sickening crunch. Affects some AI cards. Oh yeah. Josh, reduce the monster's life total by one. Do it! Do it! 
Nice job, Jet. That right. was good. Crushed its spine. Uh, then who's attacking next? Uh, I guess I'll go with green. Okay. Go into the butt. Right cheek is the trap cheek. Trap cheek. Before I do that, I'm going to move out of the way with red. That's lame. And check the top three locations, because I only know one of them. That's lame. Lame. Uh, the HP isn't updating on the overlay for the antelope. Should be. It did. It's the bar underneath the monster that looks like a white lion. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's moved. You guys healed it earlier, so like we've only done one damage to it. Yay. Uh, seven and eight. That is two hits. Two hits. What are you attacking, Josh? Uh, I am going to attack the furry throat. It just lagged a bit. So you're attacking the furry throat. Uh, you're not hitting with the clever shield, unfortunately. No. Uh, that, yeah, that's a level one. That's what the one means. Yeah. So Josh, roll. How much strength uh, do you have? So I have the axe, which is three strength. And my axe! And I have one natural strength. So, so it's a four. four. You need to roll a four plus. That's, that's an, an eight. eight. That is more than four. So that is a wound. Josh, reduce the monster's life total by one, please. And what's the next location that you're attacking? Uh, the restless flank. The restless flank. Have good stakes there. Roll a d10. Uh, that, that landed not on a face. In the gear grid. That's a six. The six. Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. Reflex, the monster turns to face the attacker. Uh, sure. I'll have him do that. Face the attacker. Yeah, it was... Oh, it was green. green. I'm sorry, I thought it was red. No, red ran away. Red doesn't want anything to deal do with nah. this guy. Pew, 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 pew. Okay. So that's the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn. Monster control is going to pass from me to... Uh, bisque from Cock Out of Bisque. Sounds like the worst cookbook title ever from Cock Out of Bisque. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what degenerate monsters can you farm by full healing monsters? Like the old lion understanding. Uh, the antelope. The antelope's really farmy. Uh, ravenous. If we have the stuff. Closest survivor with consumable gear in range. I have consumable gear. Twitch well, has consumable gear. I also have consumable gear. So it's going to be you fine folks. <laughs> uh, so he's going to attack which one? Um, um, I'll let him attack me. Okay. So, uh, chat, we're going to need one d10 to be rolled. It's a two plus. Josh, how much evasion do you have? I have uh, one, two, three evasion. Really? Yep. Three evasion. So that's going to be a five plus to hit you for two damage. And Screaming Antelope consumes one gear in the target's gear grid. Choose an archive of gear card. Antelope is like you guys. It just eats everything. Now they rolled a nine. Um, a I'm going to spend a survival dodge. Yeah, I figured. So it doesn't hit because the antelope's a jerk. Easy enough. So that's going away. It's the end of the monster's turn. It's now our turn again. Uh, I'm going to let Twitch go first. They're going to go boop, 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 boop. And they're going to hit it in the butt. So two D10s, um, chat. I don't care if you're in the way. I wanted to hit no, you. No, that wasn't... What I was thinking. I was trying to think of what the top AI card was. <laughs> you said this would be hard. Someone heal him. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Uh, we're also only 20 bucks away from a giveaway tonight. Did you see yeah. that? No, I didn't. Yeah, we're, we're only 20 bucks away from another giveaway. 26, that's one hit. One miss, one hit. All right. It rubs the acanthus on its skin, and Trolley heals the wound again. <laughs> It rubs the acanthus on its skin. Trolley heals the wound again. <laughs> Puts a lotion in the basket. Uh, the restless chest turned the screaming. Oh, that's a wound. So uh, Twitch is attacking. So needs to roll a d10. And again, it's going to be a four plus to wound this location. So let's see if they roll more than a four. Yeah. And uh, maybe they get another crit. That'd be really nice here. It would be nice. Um, if they attacked from a corner... So can this take it down to zero damage? Or is it always a minimum of one? Always a minimum of one. So it is a four, so it is a wound. It's a wound? Uh, so it reduce the monster's life total by one, and turn the Screaming Antelope to face the attacker, and full move forward in a straight line. So what's its movement? One, two, three, four. And it stops there, because it's an idiot. It is a break this? No, it's uh, obstacle impassable. Okay. So they get knocked down, right? 
and they're going to take one damage to a random hit location. Yep. So, chat, please roll a random hit location. Don't forget to embolden and savage it. It's true, you guys could do that. Gore! <laughs> Al Gore. Um, yeah, they're not done. But they'll get up again. Never going to keep them done. Now they're only $15 away. Technically $14.93. Yeah, guys, definitely big ups to Lightning and Lace. These are the greatest gear grids. I love them. Uh, they're legs. So, Josh, please give them a one damage to their e leggies. And you do have two armor at all hit locations for them, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, I forgot to do that. I regained oh, my survival when yeah, I dodged. Survival regain. Because I have full rawhide. It's been a long time since we actually had rawhide armor. Oh, what did I assume we do? <laughs> okay, I might be a number jerk. Heal three. But did someone say giveaway? <laughs> I might be a number jerk. Thanks, Ice Chamber. It's, uh, back at full health. <laughs> oh my god, is it really? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But there is a giveaway tonight, guys. And uh, you get points for watching the stream. You get milligrams of salt, and you use that to redeem for tickets for the giveaway. And it's going to be a KDM-themed giveaway this evening. I keep healing until we get our bugs. All right, uh... Red's gonna check hit locations. Is he really at full health? Yep. That's awesome. Uh, put something on top for me to hit. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah and you get a lot of you. salt for them to donation. 14 subs away from the next sub only giveaway. It's not sub only giveaway, the next sub triggered giveaway. Hashtag triggered. Right? That's what we want to use? Hashtag triggered? No. That's a joke, Josh. Laugh. All right, Matt. Laugh. I'll put the top one on for you. Josh did rob us last week. I didn't not get do any bugs. I don't know what he did. I'm going to attack with my bone darts. Six plus. Roll an eight. That's a hit. Uh Oh, yeah. So I'll get that when we get to 150, that's going to trigger the next uh, expansion. Yep. Right? Nice. So I'm attacking the palate. So the pallet. Uh, oh, I really don't want to fail here. No, you're fine. I don't want to fail, though. I just don't want to fail. Um, so again, it's going to be a four plus for me to wound. And I rolled a six. That is a wound. Yay! Yeah, September should help with that as well. So, Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. All right. Discard that top AI card. And it's time for some stuff to happen. Five and a three. Gift subs can keep their gift sub for a dollar. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. So I got one hit, Matt. You got one hit, and you're attacking the Restless Muzzle. Not the Restless Muzzy. Just the Restless Muzzle. That's three. It's not enough. It's not enough. Nope. Ended a four. Failure. Failure. Failure was not an option, but you made it an option. Good job. Proud of you. Don't All let right. your dreams be dreams, Josh. Or should I let them be? Your microphone's Nightmares? really loud when you move your head around. I think it's because you think your headset's not tight enough. Did they spoil anything KDM at Gen Con? And if so, can I look it up? Uh, we had an interview, so go on our YouTube channel and go check it out. It's also up on Twitch, too. Either or. And uh, we showed off the two new demos. All right. Uh, Monster Control is going to switch over to green. Indeed, Lee Doodly, neighbor Brony. Thanks, everyone. We really Thank you, Alexa Vren. Bring on more death. One short of a year. Oh yeah. You're That's almost a at a unicorn, Alexa. <clears throat> uh, so you're doing stomp and snort, and uh, the monster's doing that too. So it's attacking a random survivor in range. So, chat, random survivor, please. We don't know who it's attacking. Who is it going to attack? Blame me! Yay! So intimidate target, the screaming antelope begins to stomp and snort excitedly. A gurgling moan sounds from its undermouth. I don't know. I can't. I don't know. That's, that's what you get. Uh, turn to face the target and roll a d10. On the result of a 4+, plus, the target suffers 1 brain damage per monster level and is knocked down. In addition, if the target is insane, they suffer knockback 5. Oh, Are you insane? I'm not insane. Actually, this is going to give me a severe brain injury. So there's that. If they're all 4+. plus. If they're all 4+, plus, yeah. You're welcome. A nine. 
I rolled a nine also. Josh, what's a nine? Uh, clarity? And... Other way. <sighs> I always forget. New perspective. You are knocked down and gain 1d10 insanity. So, Josh, can you please knock me down? And I gain four insanity. All right, so you're knocked down. But I'll get up again? Twitch is going to get up now. So I've got a dumb question for you. Yep. Based on the order of things, he gave me my one brain damage. Then I received my four insanity. Do I then get the knockback five because I'm insane at this point in mm. time? Or does it all just kind of happen at once? I say it would all happen at once. So I don't get knocked back five. Yeah, you don't get knocked back five. Okay. Is my uh, professional take. Yes. So that goes away. And I'm going to check uh, hit locations. The end of our turn. Or the monster turns now. Our turn. There is the trap card. Trap card. You've activated my tarp card. Okay. So, uh, Twitch can go hit it in the butt. Um, yeah, they can. Twitch, 2d10s. You know what to do. Roll high. I believe in you. What are you doing? Microphone's very noisy. Um, after this, I'll let you guys go for bugs. Let you guys, you know, you know what I mean. Four and a three. Two misses. Two misses. No misters. I'll go try. Six and a one. One hit. One miss. One hit. And you roll. You're attacking the restless shoulders. You need to roll a four plus. That's a crit. Gain one screaming antelope resource. Oh, I do two damage because I have savage. You are indeed a savage. So, Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by two. And get us one of those Screaming Antelope resources. Got its brain. Uh, yeah, you, you got his brain. It's weird. His screaming brain. You can eat it. You know what it sounds like? No. <laughs> Thank you for stopping. Tangential Kamarugula People's Champ. Okay. Um, I'm going to throw a dart at it, because I can. Yeah, next card's okay. Did, um... I rolled an eight. And I'm attacking the restless inner thighs. It's really creepy when you say it that way, right? Right? You must project more. Use your diaphragm and throw your voice. No. I'm trying to be nice. I rolled a nine. Aww. I know, it's so not close. A so close, but it's so far. It is a wound, though. Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one, and your attack disables the monster's powerful running muscles. The Screaming Antelope gains a minus one movement token. <clears throat> That's a good one. Ha ha, stupid antelope. So now it's only got a movement of five, right? Yep. So we can catch him now. Catch him, catch him, gotta catch him right. all. Gotta catch him. Uh, Twitch is now a monster killer? Twitch is now monster control. Oh, you were knocked down. You could not attack. You cheater. Rewind. Whoops. I didn't realize that. Sorry, guys. All right. Monster controller. Who's monster controller? Twitch. Twitch. Okay, stop upping the cheat counter. <laughs> Bolt, closest knockdown survivor. Hey, Matt, that's you. It is me. Uh, so, he's going to move and attack. I have three evasions, so it's going to be a five plus to hit me. <sighs> um, uh, did I request two? Shoot, it's only the first one. Only the first one counts. A three! That's a miss. So, I don't get hit. And now he's going to full move in a straight line away from all survivors. So, Josh, can you move the Screaming Antelope away? Okay. Antelope disappeared. Now you stand up, Matt. <clears throat> so, how many heals have we done? How much Davin should it be at? Um, it should have... He should be almost dead at this point. Look at the screaming antelope is just creepily looking over my shoulder right now. I forgot to put the 
that card back. Um, it's not a three plus because of knockdown, or is that no. it's only one survivor to attack the monster? Man, you guys healing him are jerks. Yeah, Ice Chamber. They sure are. You could be doing such I mean, you guys still get your salt to do stuff. That is true. So you guys can still trade that salt in to do Jackbox. Um, so it's the and end I of the got Jackbox turn. 4 now, too. It's now our turn. It's our turn. You stand up. I stand up. I'm going uh, to attack. No, you're not going to. Oh. Yes, I am. You can because the card's still there. I rolled a six. I rolled a one. Right. I will do hit location checks. Check those hit locations. Um, Anything good there? Run away in a straight line as a reflex. And then plus two luck if you have a shield or... Whispering antelope, hey Matt, I love you. Heal me one, please. <laughs> Okay. Um. <laughs> Thanks, Dark Citadel. Uh, nine, I got a fresh Canthus. Twitch is going to start running over to the bugs. Okay. And I guess. Oh, I wanted to move after I went. Okay. I'm going to go there. So Twitch is going to go one, two, um, three, four, Twitch five. Twitch is going to use their headband to check cards. <clears throat> uh, or do they want to uh, embolden? Uh, that's a survival action. They could do that too. Oh, okay. But Let's do both. All right. Let's have them do both. Um, no, we're not doing that one. Furthest threat in range. It's going to be green. That's fine. That's fine. It's just a one speed. Matt, right. you may want to start letting us eat bugs because I don't think the healing will stop. That's why I'm moving you over to the bugs. No fair, the monster gets the heals. <laughs> yes, it is. They really want to be mean. They'd re roll your attack, so you'd miss um, and to chomp your arms off with its beetle belly mouth. You guys going to bold in? Are you guys going to bold in later? It's a free action. Like, I'm doing now. Okay. Uh, roll d10. Why? Oh, they have a chance to re redeem their survival. I forgot yep. about that. That's good. <clears throat> um. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, Murex Bob sent a 3D printer. He said I should get, and I think the uh, the lease on it is 40000 a year. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> they rolled a three. Uh, so they used their survival, but they get plus one strength. Uh, how about an SLS printer, Murex Bob? If you guys tip enough to get us an SLS printer, I'll be a really happy fan. Which one's SLS? Uh, selective laser centering. That's the metal 3D printing. Uh, uh, I think we need a resin printer, though. No, I want an SLS printer. Uh, he wants to get the clip printer. I forget what clip stands for. I don't know. Keep streams like this week and last week up, and you might get it. No, an <laughs> SLS printer costs, like, six figures. Yeah, the one he sent was, like, a six figure. That was, like... Yeah, it's it's ridiculously expensive. I just need the one Twitch uses. My job actually has one. There's not a chance I'd be able to use it for any twist stuff though, so don't get so your yeah, don't get your hopes up. Okay, can can we acquire it when they want to get rid of it? Uh, no. They'll probably donate it to a school or something. Can we just say we're a school? No. <laughs> can we be open twist as a not for profit and then just say be like give us donation? No, Josh, that's not stuff. how it works. All right, so it is whose turn now? All of our turns. Use are it open. at the school. It is monster's turn. So monster control is going to pass to me. I need that top AI card, please. We are an educational stream teaching you how to kill antelopes. So he's going to ram. Come on and ram if you want to jam. <coughs> uh, furthest threat in range. It's green. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, yeah, it's green. All right, so it's going to uh, move an attack. So, Twitch, we need a D10 to be rolled. It's going to hit Josh on a 5+. plus. want to do this or this? Uh, first one. Yeah. Okay, I do. Now we do each one. A Twist Academy now accepting students for Nightmare Realm Sociology 101. Can we do, can we do like, an adult summer camp, or like a Twist summer camp, Josh? Can we plan okay. that for next year? Uh, I rolled a 10. I will dodge that. 
And I rolled a one, so I'm using my survival. All right, so that is the end um, of the monster's turn. That requires us to take time off. Like, oh, or is sorry, it going to be like a guys. night school? Uh, it'll be night school. Like, no, not actually, it? not actually camping. Um, it would be you guys stay here for. I learned a lot from Doodle Date. I mean, Doodle Date <laughs> teaches a lot of life les life lessons, right? Yeah, that's actually going to be uh, the interpersonal relationships class. It's going to be Doodle Date. Then there's going to be uh, a, a bug class. That's, that's a good one. Okay, enough of that. Um, <laughs> uh, so that's going to be the end of the monster's turn. It's now our turn. Oh, cool. Um, what's the top hit location card looking like, Josh? Was it a good uh, one? Was it a bad one? Yeah, the top two are okay. I'm going to throw a dart at it because I dart. can. Actually, I'm going to move to the butt. I'm going to move to the right cheek because no one else can reach the butt. Might as well get the accuracy, you know. Green could have reached the butt. Uh, I rolled a four. So. Why don't my, you go to. Because I don't want to. So the accuracy is a seven plus. I have one, so it's a six plus. I'm in the butt, so it's a five plus, but I rolled a four. So it's a miss. <laughs> Doodle Day taught me to invest in my relationships early. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Twitch is going to go one, two, three, four, five, and they're going to pick up a bug. So, chat, we're going to need a D10 to well, be why rolled. Why don't they go to the other bugs? Might as well get the far one first. Sure. I know. Uh, so, Josh, what are you doing with red and green? Green's going to go here. Why didn't you go to the butt, Josh? Because you're blocking him. Seven, Seven and nine. It's two, two hits. hits. Uh, they rolled a six. What's a six on the bug, Josh? Six on the bug. You get a random environment resource. So we need someone to do exclamation point. Bug! Bug command! Do the bug command! Do the Humpty dance. Do the Humpty dance. Sword beetle. Sword beetle. Uh, so, Josh is attacking the delicate inverted knee. But in the meantime, you guys got the sword beetle. And the sword beetle is a vermin consumable. And if you eat it on a 6+, plus, you get plus 1 permanent strength. 4 through 5, no effect. And a 1 through 3, you die. Eat it now. Wait, there's a bug command? Yeah, there's a bug command now. I mean, we could trade salt to create new species of bugs. You absolutely can. Uh, go to the stream element store. And Josh, are they eating the bug right now? I, I don't know. Uh, Excellent said, eat it now. Naobari said, yup. So I said, let's get other bugs before eating. That way we have a better chance of different bugs. Eat it. Right. No, no, that, they're, they're saying eat it. Um, let me finish this attack, and then they can eat it. Okay. Uh, I rolled an eight. So that's a wound. Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. And their other attack. What's the other location you're attacking? The... Restless romp. That's actually Josh. And you rolled another eight. That's another wound. Turn to monster to face away from the attacker and full move forward in a straight line. Cancel all hits. Now out of range. So, monster. So that, and you run right into that column. And chat. We need a d10 to be rolled because you're eating the sword beetle. Roll a d10. They swallow a sword. They're swallowing a sword beetle. They don't chew it. They just swallow it whole. It's probably why it could possibly kill you. You think? I forgot to chew. Chew, chew, chew. I chew, chew, choose you. What do you think they're going to roll? I'm going to hide it a little bit. What do you think they're going to roll? Um, The number between 1 and 10. A 7! They get plus 1 strength. They get plus 1 permanent strength. Josh, increase their strength by 1. I don't have anything for the overlay. Uh, so they now have two natural strength. And they have a plus one strength token, so they have three strength. How do they get a plus one strength token? Because uh, they emboldened. Oh, they emboldened. That's right. So they can they can do some damage. We're ripped. Mm, uh, uh. All right, I'm going to check hit locations. And you think it's bad to eat bugs. We got the super dense location. You're a super dense location. So we need Twitch to hit that. They're a little far away right now. They're a little busy. And well, you need the phone. punch it. No. Throw your founding stone at it. Crit's not that great. Your face isn't that great. <laughs> Alright, so, um, right, so the top card is not a super dense. The second to the top card is super dense. Okay. When was the last time we died eating a bug? I don't know. Yesterday? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, so who's up next? So who went? I went. Green Red went. Red just went. Green went. Everyone went. Everyone went. It's now the monster's turn. So monster control is going to pass from me to Bisk. From Kaka to Bisque, a cooking retrospective. 
And uh, what's that top AI card, Josh? We don't know. You don't know. Shuffle in the deck. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And you're attacking. the. Uh, he's biting. Nom, nom, nom. Closest survivor in field of view. That's a me. Or me. Uh, I'll take it. That's fine. Nom, nom, nom. So, chat, please roll a d10. It's going to hit me on a 5+, plus because I've got uh, one natural evasion, I've got the evasion from the rawhide, and I've got the monster grease. <laughs> The, uh, the trap's there. It's a third card down. I've just been burying it yeah. the whole time. He's, he's been doing a good job with the uh, rawhide headband. I mean, no, uh, the uh, cat, cat eye circlet. circlet. That's my only job is red. And they rolled a six, so I'm going to dodge. I rolled a one, so I'm going to lose my survival. All right. All right. And that's the end of the monster's turn. It is now our turn. And here's the rest of the song by the book. Okay. So, Matt. You want to throw a dart at it? Sure. I'm going to throw a dart right at its dumb, stupid antelope face. I rolled a 10. What am I attacking, Josh? Uh, tip to give red the priority target. <laughs> the furry tail. You strike the magnificent bushy tail. And I rolled a 4. That's a wound. Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by 1. And the next hit has to come from someone that doesn't have a fragile weapon. Uh. Red's going to hit oh, location. Oh, okay. Right? He hit location. That, that makes sense, too. Um, but it still needs to be uh, purple. Okay. Because they're the only one, unless someone punches it. So they're just going to move closer. One, two, three, four, five. And they'll be able to hit it next turn. Okay. They can't hit it this turn. Uh, they can check AI cards. They can. <clears throat> and I'm assuming you're going to search. Oh, no, you already went with red. I was going to ask if you wanted to do the Acanthus. Uh, we'll leave it like that. Do the can't stands. Do the can't stands. Uh, it's supposed to be more readable, simplified now. So no. Living on a prayer. Halfway there. Yeah, I think there. It's actually about halfway. <coughs> Could eat a bug. You have to yep. get a bug first. Um. Okay. So that's the end of all of our turns. Now the monster's turn. Monster controller is going to pass from goulash from Bisque to, to goulash. goulash. And uh, let's draw an AI card. And he's got Ravenous, closest survivor with consumable gear in range. We I'll help him attack myself so I get uh, insanity. Okay. So he's going to attack Josh. He's going to hit him on a 5+. plus. Chat, please roll a d10 to see what it's doing to Mr. Josh. I should have had a gone for you. Why? Because then butt cheek would have been prime for a twitch. Then butt cheek would have been prime. Butt cheek prime! It's like Optimus prime. You roll nothing because Pandabot is taking a nap right now. There we go. A little fast, Alexa Vren. Yeah, PandaBot's lagging hard right now. And they rolled a... Seven. It's going to be a hit. That's a hit. So I'll dodge it. I and rolled a four, so survival. I spend a survival. Yep. <clears throat> and it's the end of the monster's turn. It's now our turn. Okay. So Twitch is going to go one, two, three. Right there. Because they can't reach the butt. No. Four, five. No. They can kind of get the bug. They have reach. But why would you put them further away from the bug patch? See? There. All right. So, chat, please roll two D10s. Uh, your weapon is a six plus accuracy, so you need to roll a six plus. You don't have any accuracy. Um, not in the butt. So it's just a six plus, natural six plus. So 50-50 shot. That's always good. See, you got to look out for them. They want the bugs. So, I think they're going to hit three hits right here. Three? Yeah. It's going to be a miracle. Roll an eight and a six. That's two hits. So, we need the top hit location cards. And the first one they're going for is the Restless Eye, because it is a first strike location. So, chat, we're going to need a D10 to be rolled. Something's going to happen. Uh, you should have read the text first, but they're not insane, so it's okay. So, chat, please roll a d10. That's exclamation mark. Roll. Beat the pan. Beat it up. Pew, pew. Beat up that antelope. Pew, pew, pew. Josh, help me. Help me beat up the antelope. They rolled a five. What are you, what are you doing? I don't know. I'm having a real rough time at this. I don't, I don't. 
Roll the five. That's a wound, right? That is a wound. So Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. And what's the second location they're going for? Do you guys have Beast of Balance? That'd be funny to watch get streamed. We actually showed it off at PAX Unplugged last year. Uh, yeah, but we do not have a copy. We do not have a copy, unfortunately. And now you're attacking the giant teeth. So chat, please roll one more d10. Don't be hitting that beautiful model. I'll be angry. Oh, I want to go pick its nose, but it can't. It won't let me. I'm going to scratch its belly. And you under mouth. Booba dooba doo. Booba dooba doo. Snap your finger off. Snap your fingers. You can do it all by yourself. And you're all to ten. That's a crit. Gain one screaming antelope resource. Nice job, chat. Chat's hitting with the crits today. She, they're hitting it and critting it. Okay. <coughs> Random resource. Random resource. You got his teeth. Look at that. You got it was the giant tooth, and you got a large flat tooth. And uh, someone gets insanity. I guess I'm gonna say they get it. Okay, so you're going to up your insanity by one. So it's at a total of one. All right, and then I'm going to check hit locations now. You're going to trickety check yourself before you wreck yourself? Four. So we know the top one is the uh, trap card. Okay. So, Matt, I'm going to have you go. <gasps> but you need to take a step back. Why? Because uh, you don't want to be Jason. Who's Jason? All right, so I took a step back, and I'm going to roll a d10. And I rolled a six. That's a hit. And what am I hitting, Josh? The gnarl gnarled horns. <laughs> and I rolled a three. That is a failure. If the attacker is adjacent to the monster, I'm not. That's fine. End of the turn. All right. Uh, green is going to... Do it. Do it. Oh, the trap card's there. Do it. It's not the next card. Do it, you pansy. Yeah. Grabbing a Cathos. Oh. A six. Uh, again, plus one survival. Okay. Consumer. That is true. It does sound better. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna go right there. Very interesting. What's the health of the monster? Just want to know for reasons. Four. Quattro. Okay, so now is red moving at all or no? No. Okay. The plan is to collect those acanthus bugs eventually. Acanthus bugs. Pl plugs. Acanthus plugs. They're butt plugs. So let's just monster controller. <sighs> Bolt. Closest knockdown survivor. That's no one. Furthest threat in range. You're not in range. Good. Luckily. Uh, so it's actually going to be me. No? Still um, bugs on the board. Us. Must heal. <laughs> it's going to be <laughs> all of us. Uh, the three of us are all one space away from him. So uh, Twitch could attack themselves and get uh, sanity. Let's do that. So Twitch will go right there. Okay. <coughs> and... Uh, uh, oh, boy. Okay, so chat, you're attacking. I I shouldn't give you that card back. You guys are attacking. It's forty five. It's forty dollars for another giveaway now, not forty five. We're almost at two giveaways tonight. At another expansion. Yeah. Forty dollars for another giveaway and another expansion tonight. That's pretty sweet. We want a bug. We want a bug. And you rolled a. Drum roll, please. A two. two. That's a miss. Yeah. So then, I'm sorry, full move the Screaming Antelope in a straight line away from all survivors. So we can go that way. So it's got six movement? Yep. All right. <laughs> so, Matt, you could still attack. I could, couldn't I? So I'm going to move one, two spaces closer, and I'm going to throw my darts at it. So I have a range of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And I rolled six. It's a hit. What am I hitting? The restless ear. Restless ear. Is, am I hitting with a shield or a club? Yeah. You're throwing your shield. I'm you're Captain, Captain America. America. I crit. I rolled a 10. Persistent injury. Dazed. If the monster would draw an AI card, roll a d10. On the result of an 8+, plus, the screaming antelope confuses itself, and instead of make 
and instead makes a full move forward in a straight line. Aw, yeah. I forgot to up the health from when they healed it. I like I moved the card over. I forgot to up the overlay. So you just so left it by itself. I just left the overlay by itself. All right. So we did that. Um. um uh, yeah. yeah. Dark Citadel. Oh. Reroll the crit. Oh, sorry. You gotta reroll it, Matt. He did have one saved up, didn't he? Yep. Uh, have chat roll. Yep. Chat, can you please roll a d10? I really hope that it pulls Dark Citadel's number. <laughs> That'd make me really happy. Hmm. Can you make it so we could ask for specific people's roles? That's a two. That's a two. That's a failure. Monster effectively heals one. Thanks, Dark Citadel. <laughs> Is this because I told everyone you don't spoon? All right. Is that like no spooning in general? Is that like no big spoon or no little spoon? All right, so that is the end of our turn? Did everyone no, go? No, no, only you went. Only I went. Uh, so Red's going to go and look at hit. Twitch is going to get a bug. Yeah. Because I know what they want. I'll tell you what they want, what they really, really want. They really, really, really want a bug a bug -a. Okay. <laughs> Yes, it was supposed to be our secret. Uh, so chat, please roll for the bug that you have. Can you green closer, please? I could. You're actually closer, so that would make more sense if you did it. They rolled a six. Josh, what's a six? Not a bug. Uh, they get a bug. Chat, you know what to do. Exclamation mark. Bug. Bug. Get that bug. Cyclops fly. What be the Cyclops fly? So, Cyclops fly, if they eat it, one through three, and you're dead. Four through five, no effect, and a six plus is plus one accuracy. That is a decent one to eat. So, eat it. Okay, they want to eat it. Let's roll a d10 here. Remember, you guys, you have your personal reroll, but that's it. Yeah. I mean, someone in chat could tip $10 that they didn't like the roll. That's true, they could. But just note, whatever roll comes after that is permanent. Permanent. Permanente. See. Um, let's get a 10 here. 10 would be nice. They rolled a... 3. three. Fly eyes explode. Release an acid that melts your insides. You die. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm assuming they're using their lifetime reroll that we get for survival of the fittest. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'll let you do that. And I... No, not like this. I thought Doc Citadel was saving his reroll for a bug. I, yeah, I thought he, I thought he did also. But uh, guess not. Guess not. You do have your your lifetime, so that's fine. They're using the life. I'm 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 saying that they're using the lifetime. I'm assuming they're using the lifetime. Yep. Yeah. So let's see what they roll now. Seven. Seven. Game plus one permanent accuracy. Yay, bugs. Did one of the other survivors run up to Twitch and be like, no, you're eating that bug wrong. And <laughs> you shove it down the hood the right way. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so that is the end of Twitch's turn. And Red, did you go? Yeah, I checked hit locations. Okay, so that's the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn. Monster control is going to pass from Pierogi to Kaka. That sounds like my Christmases. And he's going to ram. So come on and ram if you want to jam. So furthest threat in range. You're not in range. I think that's me. Yep. Yep, that's me. So, so you get plus one insanity. I do get plus one insanity. That's a nice one. So chat, please roll a d10. Uh, it's going to hit me on a five plus. So I've got five insanity right now. Um, What's this again? Uh, When you get a bleed token after you get your fifth bleed token, you roll a d10 on a six plus, you don't die from it. Oh, okay. And they rolled a... One. Smith. Thanks, Jack. Can you run them over to you? I could. Nee. Nee. My name is Clip Clop. Can you earn my hoof? 
All right, I think Twitch should hit it. Uh, and they ate this bug. No, they didn't. Oh, they ate the other one? Yeah, they ate the other one. <sighs> Let me just double check what I put here. So, Twitch, do you guys want to go for another bug, or do you want to attack the antelope? It's up to you guys. I mean, you don't have any rerolls left, so that might be more incentive to go for the antelope rather than the, the boogs. I could go hit it in the bug, but if they don't want hit to. Hit it in the bug? Bug all day, every day. Bug. All right. Bug. They can go get the bug. I'm going to go. We have rerolls. So I'm going to have you guys roll a d10 for the bug. Bug or they will heal it more. Six and a two. That is one hit. And so Josh is attacking the giant tongue. Minus two toughness to wound this location. It's a seven. That's a wound. All right. So wound blood and spittle erupt from the screaming antelope's wounded undermaw. If that wound result is even, suffer one brain damage. If the wound result is odd, gain one insanity. Okay, so I gain insanity. And for the bug, they rolled a six. Exclamation mark bug. And Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. All right, uh, Matt, the good, the next card is good for you to hit. And crab spider. I'm assuming they're going to sit on the crab spider. Sit on it? Or have it sit on them? I, I don't think you want to sit on a spider. Uh, but so I think you'd like chill on your shoulder. If they eat this, like they gain survival. They don't need that right now. They still have, uh, what, two survival? Yep. That's fine. And this goes away. I'm going to have them move down one space, so that way they're in front of the next bug. Actually, I'm going to have them move here, okay. so they're ready for the next bug. Now, uh, I put it as a hide. That's true. It's also a hide. I'm going to jump to the butt, and okay. I'm going to throw my darts at its bum bum, at the target. The bullseye. The bullseye? Yeah. The, uh... Chocolate starfish? <laughs> I rolled a nine. Um, yeah, plus there's no butter for the crab spider legs. And I'm attacking the restless hoof. And uh, let's see, I've got one strength. That's a four plus. And I rolled a five. That's a wound. Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. Matt hitting the pulse. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Uh, is that it? Yeah. Do you want to use red to reorganize? Uh, yeah. Because I, yeah, I didn't use yeah, red You didn't yet. do it this turn yet. All right. Oh, we are getting... We have uh, four AI cards left, and we have three health left, so we need to make each one count. Uh, sorry, don't say this one. What did you say? We have four... There's four cards left. And there's three health. There's three health. Okay. One of these is a shop card. So it's literally we have to wound all of them. Yep. Gotcha. <coughs> I mean, tra actually, you could trigger the trap pretty easily, and it's not a big issue. Uh, I forget what the trap is again. Uh, so, all survivors Jason the monster suffer two brain damage and per monster level and knocked back five and are knocked down. And then he lands on his teeth, and he slides directly away from the monster. So okay. he doesn't attack anything, he just slides away. That's not bad. So... We can trigger it, just... All right, so it's now the end of our turn. It's now yep. the monster's turn. Monster control is going to go from cock out of bisque. And... Do it in the overlay. Cock out of bisque. Oh, cock out of bisque. And let's draw that top AI card, Josh. And he is going to be Ravidus. Closest survivor with consumable gear in range. Are you attacking using who? Uh, I guess I'll... What's your survival on? Two. Two. Uh, either of us, doesn't matter. Okay. Um, Attack me, that's fine. So chat, please roll a d10. It's going to hit me on a 5+. Plus. And more than likely, I'm going to dodge it. If he hits you, you get a disorder. Oh, with the, uh, the, the, the trap. The tarp card. Tarp card. Tarp, tarp. You activated my tarp card. And they rolled a 2. That's a miss. Thanks, right. chat. So chat wants to go grab that bug. So while they're grabbing the bug, I'm going to go hit it in the butt. Of course you are. You always try to hit it in the butt. Yeah, I'm going to hit it in the butt. Did you roll a d10 One. for dazed? Uh, he doesn't have that. No, we got rid of that because Stark Citadel wanted me to re-roll. Okay. They rolled a 7, so chat exclamation mark bug. That's what I got. And Josh is attacking the restless... Shank. And they got another crab spider. I rolled a one. That's a failure. Uh, 
So, Matt, what you could do is embolden, get a plus one shen token, and then spend that another survival to spend that plus one shen token to give yourself devastating. And then we don't have to worry about trap card. <sighs> or we could just hit the trap card. I'll just hit the trap card. That's fine. Uh, so we got another crab spider, Josh. Okay. And so I'm going to go run to the butt also, and I'm going to shoot it. Shoot it in the butt. And roll a 10. And I'm attacking his giant mouth. He's got a big mouth. And roll an 8. That is a wound. Josh, please reduce monster's life total by 1. I am not attacking with a melee weapon, so you can just shut your mouth. Stupid giant mouth. Alright, I am going to check at locations. Okay. Okay. That's fine. And what now? Um that's it. Okay. So it's the end of our turn. It's how the monster's turn. Green. Monster control is gonna go from Bisk to Goulash. Goulash is gonna attack himself themselves. And the monster's ravenous again. So Goulash is attacking themselves, monster's turning around, and he's gonna go om nom nom. Need a D10 to be rolled, and it misses. It hits on a 5+, plus, so 1 through 4 is missing, missing. So let's see what we're rolling now. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Who's Roland? Uh, Roland is from The Dark Tower by Stephen King. He's the the main character in that story. You mean Idris Elba? Uh, yes, that's who played them in the movie. I didn't watch the movie, though. Elba 4. Uh, I have three evasions, so it's a miss. Yep. Chat's rolling really good for the monster today. All right. So, Matt, Yep. you can attack it if you want. Uh, but do you want to move away with green? Uh, top matter. card's fine. Second that to cop card is not. Oh. So you can attack, then Twitch can go diagonal. Where and attack. I can't see. And um, that's it. Okay, I'm going to run to the butt. And so. I can be adjacent, I don't care, because I just lose my insanity. Okay. Well, you got knocked down and stuff. I uh, rolled a four. That's a miss. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move back. Twitch can still go to try to hit it. Um, if they hit once, they can do damage. Yep. If they hit twice, chop card. So, chat, please roll 2d10. There's no more bugs left. You guys got them all. Yeah, no more bugs. 2d10s, and uh, you guys need a 5 plus to hit, because you got that natural accuracy from the crab spooter. Not the crab spooter, the cyclops fly. Yep, the one eye fly. I like how the one eye fly has a plus accuracy attribute. That's because it's a big eye. That's the joke. And it's filled with acid. Tastes like oranges. They rolled a three to two. Two misses? Alright. I am gonna collect No, I Tastes like no, I'm gonna, Yeah, I'm gonna try to collect the Canthus because I did that before. Uh, I collected again those. All right. I think. I don't think we collected them all yet. Yay, we're Crawly Mon Masters. Got it. Crunch them all. Did you go with green, Josh? Uh, green just kind of ran away. Okay. So that's the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn. Monster control is going to pass from Goulash to Pierogi Lover. And we need that top AI card, please. That's the same card we've been pulling each time. So it's going to attack me. <coughs> Because I am the closest one now. Chat needs to roll a d10 and it hits me on a 5 plus because of Ravenous. Alright, I'm not worried about the last Canthus because we can't collect any more Canthus. We collect all the Canthus we could. R A V E N O U S. Yeah. Ravenous. Singing Fergie. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. No. No. I know you're a big Fergie fan, Josh. They rolled a four. That's a miss. They're stuck rolling low right now. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of the monster's turn. It's now our turn. I'm going to throw my dart at it. In the face? No, nah, I'm going to run to the butt. Run to the bum. Gonna run to the bum. It's five. That is a hit. And only a hit because I ran to the bum. Okay. And I'm attacking the restless tiny hands. Oh. It was a 10, and then it fell off the board, and it was a 4. Still a wound. Okay. Please reduce monster life total by 1. 
Quick, someone tip $50 for a full heal. Oh, my God. <laughs> Please don't. Um, Twitch, you guys are going to stab the monster right in his... Too many Ravenous cards got to change things up by adding something else. All right, so he wants me to take a random card. I'll do that. I'm going to shuffle the... Uh... The stack, and uh, go ahead. And, uh, Twitch trigger the uh, the trap card. <laughs> Thanks, Tux. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you have to laugh. I know it's out of love. At least I hope it's out of love. Makes us close to another giveaway, though. Nine and a three. One hit. One hit. It's the tarp card. You've activated his tarp card. So the screaming antelope panics its undermouth, unleashing an inhuman wail. <laughs> it bucks wildly and leaps into the air. The attacker is doomed. All survivors adjacent to the monster suffer two brain damage per monster level, knock back five, and are knocked down. So I'm going to lose two of my insanity, so I'm down to three. I'm knocked down, and I've got knockback five. Thank you for doing that, Josh. Uh, the monster lands on its belly and begins to slide on its teeth. Turn the monster directly away from the attacker and full move forward in a straight line. And that's it. <coughs> Can you fix him? Uh, yeah. Because you should be at the board edge. Thank you. Okay. Elmo, you said something? <laughs> Uh, watch too many ads for it to be out of spite. <laughs> uh, ad farming all day or day. Do you like to farm ads, Josh? Um, sure. Are you like Farmer Thanos? Uh, is that they should make a simulation game about farming ads on Twitch? They have farming simulation games. But, like, ad farming simulation? Yeah. It's good. It's good. It's good. You're good, you. You're good. So, what, you could... Sp please, stop monster shuffling. monster controller, you could have it... I could. If it ran towards you, Matt, it would trample you, though, right? Yes. All right. You didn't let me cut. And why were you going to flip one over? We don't have wisdom. I was going to check the top three locations with my right character. Okay. Trap card. Trap card. Trap card. Three trap cards? How do you have three trap cards? There's a loot box game where you open loot boxes to get stuff to buy more loot boxes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, move green. Five spaces forward. One, two, three, four, five. Right in the butt cheek. If I was a butt cheek, I'd butt cheek in the morning. Six and a six. You like chat earlier. Which one are you attacking first there, Joshua? Well, let's do this one. You're attacking the giant tongue. Minus two toughness to wound this location. Roll to four. four. That's a wound. It's a wound. Blood and spittily erupt from the screaming antelope's wounded under maw. If the wound result is even, suffer one brain damage. Okay. Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. And the last one, you're attacking the furry tail. You strike the magnificent bushy tail. And you roll a nine. Bam. That's a wound. Josh, please reduce the monster's life total down to zero. The screaming antelope's dead. He's dead. We killed him. This antelope was surprisingly durable. Right? Yeah. All right. So, back to us. Cheer five million. <laughs> I wish. Why does it look so poopy? There we go. Nope, I'm out. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, you guys did take your sweet time. Well, not really. Did we really? I don't think we took our sweet time. I blame Dark Citadel. So, Aftermath. We're going to gain one level of hunt XP and one level of weapon proficiency, if applicable. Nope. It's Can't not, do that. not for anyone. What weapon is Green using? Uh, Bone Axe. So, when the monster's defeated, do any survivors have 20-plus uh, insanity? Uh, nope, not at all. Nah, we're fine. 
Uh, so we're going to need four basic resources and four screaming antelope resources. And to add to that, we got two crab spiders, we got three fresh acanthus, we got some muscly gums, a beefsteak, a screaming brain, and a large flat tooth. <laughs> Alright, and uh, we're going to get some monster hide. Some love juice. Doesn't come in a jar. Love juice comes from who you are. Uh, some more monster hide. And then finally, some monster bone. And we're going to need four screaming antelope resources, please. Thank you, Dark Citadel. So that was like three antelope fights with no deaths. Well done. We got some beef steak. We got two shank bones. And we got a pelt. Got a lot of stuff. That was a that was good farming right there, guys. And so we're returning to the settlement, so we're going to need a seventh, right, Josh? Yep. <laughs> settlement event. Do do Dark Trader. That's a boring one. <laughs> no, not murder. Stop that. Do 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 do. Boop. Bow, bow. <laughs> Donation total, 66 and 69 cents. All right, so that means that we're, what, one, no, $34 away from the next giveaway? Mm -hmm. Maybe. I mean, if everyone in chat watched some ads for some bits, mm -hmm. and... If everyone in chat watched Jack Ryan. Oh, that would be, like, a lot of giveaways. Yeah. But, like, if they watched some ads for bits, they, maybe they hit a giveaway. Yeah. If everyone Your chat did that right now. face is green screening. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, so, Dark Trader, a corpulent man reclines on a chair carried on the backs of four cloaked men. He offers to sell the settlement many amazing treasures. Each item may be purchased once. So we can do six resources to gain the strange brew, which is stupid. Uh, we've got the pink stone, which is two resources, which can give us a founding stone. Or we can spend seven resources to try and get a jeweled thong. I don't like any thong, of the thong, these. The thong. Uh, we get bits from Jack Ryan on the 7th. But you have to watch it before tomorrow. Oh, okay. Why does watching Jack Ryan give bits? It's something Twitch is doing. I don't know. So Amazon Prime? Yeah, Amazon Prime. Uh, so for future reasons, any way to give bits to roll settlement events? Reroll settlement events? Uh, maybe we'll do, I don't know. Maybe we'll do a, a donation amount like the healing and stuff to redo. Do you so, so if you guys have ideas... And you want for us to incorporate them, you should go on our Discord. Yeah. And tell us there. Because uh, that's where we take, like, all, like, we take it from chat now, but, like, when it's written in text, it's a little bit easier to remember where I can, like, reference it. I can't reference Twitch chat easily. Mm -hmm. um, so go on there and tell us what you want to see and what you want to do, us to kind of incorporate, and we'll see what we can do. Awesome. Uh, so do we want to spend two resources to get the pink stone? Um, no, not really. I'm going to yeah, really. go over to Peter real quick. You go over to P real quick? Josh is pooping. He says he's prairie dogging it right now. So I'm joined right now with my co-host, Mr. Charrington. Hi, Mr. Charrington. Hey, man, how's it going? Huh? Who's the uh, it's actually his cousin, Mr. Charrington. He's also Mr. Charrington. They, uh, it's a pretty, you know, big family. Um. Oh, you did that. That's a good idea. Mr. Charrington's dad. It's, I revived him. It's his corpse. Can you fix the background? Why is it? It's probably Mr. Charrington's fault. Mr. Charrington's a dumb jerk. Nightmare Tick is the only easy cooking. <clears throat> you should get a green chair. It's actually not a bad idea. I could. Um, I didn't go to the bathroom, so I did not wash my hands. He pooped. Into my hands. <laughs> I don't say to that. <laughs> All right, so we return now. We have four endeavors. Are uh, we doing anything with seven set endeavors? I just need to check the... Uh... Innovate! Innovate. Innovate. Always be innovative. Year three, there's nothing on the timeline. And Flower Knight doesn't come to year four, I believe. Okay. I want to innovate. Uh, you want to innovate? I want to okay. innovate. Uh, we need some resources to innovate with, Matt. That's fine. You can pull them. You can pull the pole. No. So we got Monster Bone, Monster Hide, and I yeah, need a need random organ. organ. Um, Beast Steak. 
Okay. Uh, I'm going to use the brain, because we don't really care about the brain mint, right? Brain mint could be used for something. Use the use the gums. I don't think the gums are used for anything. <coughs> okay. All right. Okay. Two, right? Yep. So first one's gonna be Aqua Robics. Sounds like fun. And we've got Symposium. That symposium's real strong to add now. So, Josh, please put up a poll, and I'll explain these a little bit more in detail in just a second here, chat. Uh, and uh, we have Symposium and Aquarobics. <clears throat> you ready, Josh? You ready? You ready? I don't know if I spelled these right, but sure. Probably not. I'm going to guess no. So, first up, we've got Symposium, which is adding one to the survival limit. When a survivor innovates, draw an additional two innovation cards to choose from. Add Symposium consequences to the innovation deck. Then we've got Aquarobics, and Aquarobics is Faith, Hands of the Sun, Consequence, Survival Limit, plus one. They, so they both increase our survival limit, and this is spend an endeavor to underwater train. Roll a d10. On a one, you drown. On a two through seven, spend one survival to hold your breath and roll again. If you can't, your lungs fill with water, and you drown. Uh, and then on an eight plus, gain the Legendary Lungs Secret Fighting Art. So this is just the opportunity for you to get Legendary Lungs. Uh, why that underwater train is hard. Yeah, it's really, it's it's pretty difficult. It's neat, uh, but I, I don't see us doing that, really. Right? Mm. What great insight. Question mark? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, question mark. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah, I, I feel like it's safe to say that we're going to innovate Symposium. Okay. So I feel like you could probably close that poll out. All right. So symposium, which means our survival is going to go up to five. It's going to go up to five. Which means what? Um, nothing right now. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if it meant something. So that's one of our endeavors. We've still got three more. Uh, we do want to purify someone, correct? Um, let's uh, go open up the book. What's the bonus for one person being purified or two people being purified? Um. Purification is it adds the roll result, it adds one to the roll result for each person that's purified. So I believe if both people are purified, uh, it prevents you from dying unless you roll double ones. So purification bonus add plus one to the water birth for each parent that is purified. And on a one through three, you die. So technically, if you roll. Yeah, and the, so the only way that you can die is if you roll double ones. Okay. So having both have plus ones wouldn't it be too bad. No, I'm sorry, that's not true. If one person does roll a one still, someone still dies because it's we have survival of the fittest, okay. so you're automatically taking the lowest result, and it's a one through three is death. No, one through three is the baby dies. Something in the water devours the parents and the newborn. Oh. That means both the parents oh. and the baby. Okay. Yeah, rolling a single one is a failure. Ice Chamber muted someone? That's mean, Ice Chamber. Why'd you do that? I don't know what you did. So add in two to the <laughs> result. Okay. That's tough. I think we should still purify someone. All right, so we have three endeavors left. Yeah. Okay. And then? I'm just looking at our options. And then? And then? Sacred pool is for two. Yeah, so let's do that. Who has and it? And then on? sacred water lets us do so we can make one baby. And we can take a second baby because we do have a love juice. Okay, let's make some um, babies. How do we make the... Uh, so, so no end it. Three organs and a hide. We don't have enough organ to make the stone circle. All right, so uh, we're spending two endeavors to purify someone. So who's already purified? It's not like you have a big stack of names to look through or anything. Uh, Hurry up, Josh. Slow poke. Hurry up, slow poke. Hurry. Uh, Captain Left Cheek was purified. Captain Left Cheek. That's a male? That's a male. So we need a female to be purified. 
Um, I nominate Kaka's tribute. Okay. So Kaka's going to get purified. So do we need to roll? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. So chat, please roll a d10. You may endeavor here once per lifetime. Your body is infused with sacred water and purified. You cannot depart this year. Gain the protective disorder. So Josh, what's the protective disorder again? Uh, protective disorder is if someone adjacent to you is knocked down, you're knocked down as well. It's overprotective, technically. Yeah. And uh, let's see what they roll here. Looks like I can get some nice stuff. Nice stuff here. Yeah. Ten. Two. Nothing. That's fine. All right. So they're both purified. So now we have got one final endeavor. So we're going to use that for intimacy. So chat, we're going to need... Uh, not. It's not intimate. Well, what's it called, actually? Uh, it's intimacy. called sacred water. Once per settlement phase, the settlement drinks the oil that builds up on the surface of the pool and does intimacy. So we're drinking all of the, the fat. fat from the top. Yeah. The, the poo fat. The poo fat. Yeah. That's boiling to the top of the stew. Yep. It sounds delicious, really. So we are doing... Where is the damn intimacy table? It's in here somewhere. <laughs> Seven and a two. So it's going to be a four. Intimacy. So it's a four. A newborn is brought kicking and screaming into the world. The survivor's eyes are free of the ink that stain the founder's feces. I mean faces. So Josh, give me another character sheet, please. They're right there. Josh, give me a name. You still get plus one to accuracy or strength. Did I do? Uh, goulash was the one I got final hit. I never. No one better on goulash actually. No, it says on a t on an eight plus. Gain plus one permanent attribute of your choice. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Otherwise, gain plus one permanent accuracy or strength. I just can't read. I didn't read that. Yep, correctly. you don't know how to read. Um, What's that? I'm going to gain a permanent accuracy with Kaka. Uh, Ice Chamber said Jackbox 4. I don't care what game. Just Jackbox 4. Gosh, what's the new what's the new baby's name? Uh, we have a ton of names in here, like a ton of names. Gosh, hurry up! What's the new baby's name? Uh, Lost Hope. Oh no, it's a female. Okay. And one natural strength and evasion. Okay. So, uh, are we spending the love juice to do it again? Um. Yeah, let's do it again. Okay. So, chat two more d tens, please. Love juice doesn't come in a jar. Love juice comes from who you are. Comes from Oscar balls. <sighs> no, that's a frenzy potion. Frenzy potion comes from Monster balls. Chat's being. There we go, Panda. Ow. <laughs> All right. So this is going to be our last thing for the evening. Right. Before the giveaways. And they rolled a five and a two. So that's another new survivor. So that's four. So, Josh, give me the next name, please. Private, private hints, privates. <coughs> what? Private. Private. Private hints. How do you spell privates. that? P-R-I-V-A-T-E-T-O-N. Wait. One private. More time? P private. Space. Yeah. Private tin. How do you, how do you spell private? P-R-I-V-A-T-E-T-O-N. E-T-O-N. That's not. Apostrophe S. That's private tetan. Private -ton. Oh, okay. Privates. Privates. Private, private tin, privates. Yes. Not pri not private, private tons, privates? Uh, that's how they spell it. Okay. Male or female? Uh, if not male, then they have problems. Uh, it's male, then. Uh, so that's going to be one strength, one evasion, and we're good to go. Josh, is there anything else that we have to do this evening? <coughs> oh, I think that is it. All right, so thank all of you for watching us here today. Make sure that you follow us on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and come chat with us in our Discord channel where? Uh, people are sending me stuff or things they want to make and getting death. Very good. Uh, upcoming streams, what do we have, Josh? Uh, next Monday, we have a spotlight of Mr. Ree. Ooh, by Greenbrier. By Greenbrier. That's so, exciting. Um, Julie will be in chat. Nice. Um, because I think we're going to have... A Dirk Manon, I believe, is the oh his name. Yeah, uh, that he writes the comic. That's really cool. Uh, so he's going to be joining us via Skype. Nice. Um, so Julie will probably be in chat, not on, uh, not on 
actual street not photos. Not the video. Yeah. Not the video. Uh, so <laughs> that's next Monday. At 8 p.m. Eastern. At 8 p.m. Eastern. And then next Tuesday is more Twitch Plays Kingdom Down. Woo! Going into Lantern Year 3. Trace. 3. Not Trace. Trace. 3. So we're going to be doing a giveaway in just a second here. But first, we are signing off. As usual, I'm Matt. I'm Josh. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye.